News, Ron Paul's former chief of staff, and he's an icon of the liberty movement, and he's predicted the crumbling of the American crony capitalist anti-free market mafia system. And now Putin and others have said, we'll take the chemical weapons away. We'll stop war any way we can. Bashir Assad says, I don't want another crazy war. Your Al-Qaeda is attacking us. It's all on record. And now it's all coming out. And Democratic Republican senators like Mendez say they want to vomit over Putin insulting us, saying we've been great friends with America to fight Hitler. We want to work with you now. Please let's stop war. Give peace a chance. John Lennon. And their answer is, we want to vomit on you. So I want to get Lou Rockwell, uh, who, again, really has his finger on the pulse and has predicted so much of this in his writings at lourockwell.com, to give us his take on where we are. Because Dr. Paul Craig Roberts, uh, the New York Sun, uh, Conrad Black, all these people have said what I'm saying. I see this as the beginning of the fall of the Soviet Union. 1987, if we were East Germany, before 1989, uh, 1990, uh, 1989 for 1991. I think it's already collapsed. The numbers show that. Dominant media is no longer dominant. Lou Rockwell, what's your take on this point we're at in history, sir? Well, it certainly has been going on for a while, Alex. I mean, I think we can actually trace it back to uh, George Bush and company's um, invasion of Iraq uh, into uh, the, the uh, real estate bubble the Federal Reserve deliberately created in order to allegedly make things better, and of course the bust from that. Uh, so we've had all kinds of economic troubles, all kinds of uh, invasions of other countries, bombings of other countries, dronings of other countries. And I, I know um, the neocons find this very hard to conceive of. People don't like to be bombed. They don't like to be droned. They don't want their countries destroyed and their uh, wedding parties blown up and little children out picking up firewood. Uh, blown up by a drone, and well, what, who cares about that? That's just collateral damage. Uh, so I think this has been going on for some time. I think it's you're absolutely right. I think the empire is beginning to crumble around the edges, as all empires do, because they're not economically viable operations. So what's happening right now? I think this op-ed by Putin in the New York Times was uh, really pretty good. I mean, I'm not a big fan of Putin and everything he's ever been and everything he's ever done. But these days, he certainly uh, seems to be speaking the truth. A friend of mine the other day referred to him as the leader of the free world. Well, I said, no, that's Ron Paul is the leader of the free world. But uh, Putin is acting much more like the leader of the free world than Barack Obama is. Well, he's acting and, sane. He doesn't want World War III. No, and you know, then one of the things about the neocons have always thought they seem to have a crazy gene. I mean, they seem to be slightly wacko, slightly insane, in addition to being warmongers like the Rockefellers and other interest groups, they, they, they really are nutty. And, and Putin is right to say, look, there's something wrong when you tell the whole world we're exceptional. We're the best. The regular rules don't apply to us. However, we can apply the regular rules to you. We can bomb you. We can invade your country. We can use any kind of weapon on you, white phosphorus, uh, Agent Orange, Do you? napalm, and uh, depleted uranium, and so forth. Uh, and you can't say boo about it. We're allowed to do it because you know we rule the world. We can conquer anybody, bomb anybody. Needless to say, people are sick of that. Putin is exactly right. It's wrong. No country should have that view. Various enterprises, of course, over the course of human history have had that view. Ancient Babylon, Assyria, Egypt, uh, more recently ancient Rome, uh, more, more recently still the British Empire. Napoleon. Now the US Empire. Absolutely. So, so at the point where we're at, my concern is how will the empire strike back because, God forbid, peace is breaking out here. I mean, they ought to give Putin a peace prize or Ron Paul a peace prize. Why not have a movement to recall Obama's peace prize? I think symbolically that would damage this warmonger. Well, it'd be great, although, of course, as you know, Alex, there have been some other creeps who've gotten the peace prize. Henry Kissinger and uh, other, other war criminals besides Obama have gotten it. But I'd love to see it withdrawn, yes, and, and uh, I think... Uh, but what's happening is it's being withdrawn in the hearts of the American people, in the minds of the American people, and in people all around the world. No government can stand against that. That's why they had to try to get a congressional vote. That's why all the propaganda to try to convince us was a good idea to have yet another uh, anti-Muslim uh, war in the Middle East uh, that would have resulted in the deaths of millions of Christians and uh, other religious minorities in, in Syria. So people are withdrawing their consent from the government. The government cannot stand against it. I think we've got 
interesting times ahead from an economic standpoint, but from a political standpoint, I think uh, there's much to look forward to. Hi, Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources. With over 30 years of experience in the precious metals business, I can tell you without a doubt, we are facing the most dangerous and volatile times, not just in the United States, but worldwide. Peace of mind is gold and silver. Now is the time to invest in gold. When it comes to bullion coins, our prices are competitive and the closest to melt. If it's numismatics you're looking for, we have some of the best deals out there. Visit MidasResources.com today or go to Infowars.com and click on the link link to see our daily specials. Here's an example of one of our long-term specials we've been offering for more than a year. Two silver dollars from the turn of the last century, plus two powerful films, The Obama Deception and The American Dream. We also add in the book Dishonest Money, all for $72 and free shipping. The most trusted name in precious metals is Midas Resources. Call 1-800-686-2237 or go to Infowars.com. I'm Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Resources. We are now only entering the edge of a global financial superstorm, the likes of which the planet has never seen. Here in the United States, the private Federal Reserve is giving more than $85 billion of taxpayer money a month to themselves and other offshore foreign banks. And the worst part is we have to pay the bank's interest on the money we give them. There is now a race between the global central bank mafia cartels to see who can devalue their country's currencies the fastest. We are already seeing big increases in inflation at the grocery store and the gas line. This will eventually lead to hyperinflation. More than a dozen top globalists like George Soros have been buying record amounts of gold while at the same time bad-mouthing it to the public. Don't just listen to what they say. Watch what they do. For more than 6,000 years of recorded human history, gold has been the ultimate hedge against uncertain times and inflation. Before investing in metals, it is important to do your own research and find a reputable company. Midas Resources has the highest Better Business Bureau rating of an A+. Unfortunately, very few precious metal companies can boast that. Midas Resources has assembled one of the most educated, researched, and professional teams of brokers in the industry. The evidence is overwhelming. In uncertain times, gold and silver is safe harbor. Now is the time to invest in gold. Call 800-686-2237 and Midas Resources will mail you 10 reasons to own gold absolutely free. No shipping. It's absolutely free. And finally, Ted Anderson wants to challenge you to find any deal that comes close to his two silver dollars at cost with free shipping, with two free films and a book for $72. That's more than $160 value for $72 shipping included. Click the link at Infowars.com to go to the MidasResources.com specials page. Brought to you by MidasResources.com and Ted Anderson the trusted name in precious metals. You know you're in deep trouble when your government is run by foreign banks that are above the law, tax exempt, who lobby for poor people to have their taxes raised, to give banker bailout money to them, or to be forced to buy overpriced insurance from offshore tax-exempt mega corporations and now as obamacare comes home to roost as people get laid off to part-time as all the nightmare unfolds the collectivization of america takes place i don't think it's going to go the way russia went and now our government openly backs al-qaeda how did they think they could get away with it lou rockwell of the von Mies institute ron paul's former chief of staff after Ron Paul, one of the you know, greatest living libertarian icons out there, honored to have him joining us via uh, video Skype. There's a lot to talk about in the time we have left, but my concern is how do you expect the empire to strike back? There is such a collapse in public confidence. 91% in Reuters poll against this. 500 to 1 phone calls in Congress against it. What do you expect the kleptocrats to do face down with a whole world that's completely fed up? Well, they don't know what to do. Uh, I think they're going to have to back down. We only have to look at their reaction to the fact that nobody in America and nobody in the world bought their lies about why there should be a, a, a new war on Syria. Nobody. And they didn't clearly know what to do. They kept giving us the same propaganda. They kept repeating it. And they had the whole mainstream media, of course, on their side. Thank goodness, Alex, for alternative media um, like you 
Um, this is where people are getting their information. But I also think more and more people are, are just correctly distrusting the government. Uh, they're, they're beginning to agree with the old British rule was never believe anything until it's been officially denied. I think, for example, what the great, Ed, what the great Edward Snowden did in alerting us to what was going on with the NSA, and there's still, of course, amazing stuff coming out uh, from Edward Snowden and Glenn Greenwald and, and The Guardian and so forth. So there's, uh, I think that has been a huge undermining of the government. I think people don't trust the government. They don't like the government. They don't want to be felt up at the airport. I mean, they don't want to have their taxes raised. Anybody who's looking at Obamacare is terrified by it. And I noticed they haven't, they haven't kept to their own schedule. You know, it was all supposed to have happened by now. So I think even the government is slightly afraid of what the people's reaction is going to be when they see what a scam, what an expensive disaster, or really a criminal enterprise Obamacare is written by uh, the big pharmaceutical companies and the big insurance companies, health insurance companies, wrote that legislation to benefit themselves, certainly not to, not to benefit the rest of us. So that's coming ahead. People are terrified of it. They're right to be terrified of it. Everything the government is doing is an attack on the average Joe. I mean, that's, that's the whole thing. And also more and more people are uh, realizing what you just talked about, about the whole bankocracy that we live in. We live in a, a, a rule by big banks, big international banks, in cohorts, in uh, cahoots with the central bank, the Federal Reserve. But again, people are beginning to become wise to this. It's why it's so important that we all uh, try to keep, the, keep that process going so that people will withdraw their consent Man, because the government is only a small minority, really a tiny minority, uh, if we consider the real bad guys. I mean, the average fireman or post, post office guy is not, is not our enemy. But if you look at the top of the government, the sort of 1% uh, of the population that uh, is part of the government, part of the oligarchy, uh, we far outnumber them. Uh, we don't have to let them push us around. We don't have to let them terrorize us. And if we refuse to have it happen, they actually can't get away with it. So um, maybe we'll see Bernanke having to go to McDonald's to get a job. That's, that's my, uh, that would be my ideal. Well, you and Ron Paul and others have always said that when the collapse comes, it's key that we've been there the whole time, pointing out their inconsistencies, pointing out their lies, pointing out that they exempt themselves from what they do to us, that they're the enemy, so they can't pose as the savior. And, and we've done that. They were arrogant for decades denying our existence while we basically exposed them. And now they are discovering that they're no longer the dominant media. They are basically dead. Uh, the establishment has lost all credibility. It was gone for a while, but now the emperor's, uh, you know, new clothes, uh, uh, issue is, is, is clearer than ever. How do you expect them to strike back against the real media and we the people? What concerns you on that front, Lou Rockwell? Well, certainly these people are capable of anything. I always think that if they haven't committed some crime, it's either because they felt they couldn't get away with it or they didn't think of it or they thought it was imprudent for themselves. But they never have the reaction, uh oh, better not do that, that would be wrong. That's, that's never the reaction in foreign affairs or in domestic affairs. But they're not all powerful. Uh, the gun only takes you so far. And there are too few of them to be putting a gun at everybody's head and ordering us what to do. And when you start to see the regime collapse, and this has been true in other countries, they lose their own people, their own government employees turn against them because they, the decent ones do not want to be part of what's going on. And uh, um, they don't have any moral authority, uh, and they are very, very vulnerable. They're going to be become increasingly vulnerable. And it's our job, again, to, uh, as you just mentioned, put out the correct word, teach people what the truth is, explain how you're being ripped off, explain why that does not have to be. And we're, we're in, an, in an entirely new situation. There's never been a government as big as the U.S. government. But also, a bureaucracy has got troubles. Bureaucracy, as we all know, a, a very inefficient form of uh, human organization. We have the biggest, most complicated, richest, most powerful, most rotten bureaucracy ever, the U.S. government. And it, of course, stretches all over the world, to many different countries, and it's uh, very, very powerful. But it's not all powerful. And we're already seeing the thing begin to crumble. It's at least cr crumbling around the edges. So we got to get out our um, our nonviolent uh, hammer and chisel and uh, you know knock those edges a little bit, uh, let the truth in, 
but the power of the truth in truth will win out uh, the lies and the deceit and the disasters that these people promulgate on the rest of us to enrich themselves, to empower themselves. Uh, we don't have to let them get away with it. I predict they are not going to get away with it. The economics of the empire uh, is going to bring it down, as Ron Paul has been talking about for decades. The, this sort of economic organization can't last. Uh, we're going to see the dollar no longer be the world currency, so everybody ought, ought to own some gold. Uh, we ought to, uh, we're going to see all other kinds of things coming apart, whether it's the IMF, whether it's the European Union, NATO, all the uh, World Bank, all these uh, John Maynard Keynes organizations set up after World War II are coming to an end exactly as, exactly as Henry Hazlitt predicted in the 1940s and sh showed what was going to happen, and it's indeed happening. So they don't have economics on their side. They don't have morality on their side. They don't have history on their side. They do have a gun. They have a gun, but uh, again, the gun can only do so much. The power of truth and right can defeat these people. And I think people, I think uh, future historians will look back at this time and see this is when the real counter revolution began. And uh, don't we need it? So this is really 1776. I think you could say 2013 is the year the world woke up and it may take a year it may take five years sure. uh the 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 globalist new world order is like a rotten heart it could go another five years or it could blow up tomorrow i just hope that in the collapse of the empire we don't have a thermal nuclear war because imagine if other empires on the verge of collapse would have had these planet uh, crippling or destroying weapons we probably wouldn't be here that's my concern, and the good news is the military men I talk to know it's a fraud, know the system's corrupt. They're not going to stand by. The police I talk to are starting to even wake up and realize what's happening. Uh, the corporate people are realizing if we rob everything, then everything collapses and the money's no good. People are now figuring out the end game of where this leads, and I hope that uh, cooler, minds, cooler minds prevail, but take... Rand Paul coming out and saying, you know, it looks like the rebels are behind it and we don't want to be behind Al Qaeda. And Ted Cruz saying, we don't want to be Al Qaeda's Air Force. And Ron Paul saying boldly, he thinks that the Syria situation was a false flag, which has been pretty much proven to be 99%, mm -hmm. uh, not just in motive, but in facts. And Pat Buchanan coming out and saying, Gulf of Tonkin, false flag. And to have all Rush Limbaugh come out and pretty much say that. I mean, when you see that, uh, and, and you see Republicans now who've been Republicans coming out and saying, you know, what's wrong with these Republicans on this war? No, no, no. When the left's not really doing that with Obama. I mean, I'm seeing a major sea change. It's absolutely true. You know what it is, Alex? It's like, think of the government as being, a, you know, John Kerry or some other rich guy in a very expensive sweater. And there's some little guy down at the bottom and he's, he's starting to pull on a thread. And Kerry thinks, well, that's, you know, entirely irrelevant, but it's not irrelevant because soon the whole thing is going to come off him. So that's that's what's happening. Uh, this is we're just at the very, very beginning of, a, of an historic period, and not only in American history, but in world history. We do have to fear these people and their thermonuclear weapons. But I think that, you know, and you just pointed it out. I think more and more people in the military would refuse to as my goodness, they certainly should refuse to mass murder people with atomic weapons just because some banker uh, in Washington orders them to. So just like there were soldiers in this, pre in this current situation who said, you know, I I'm not going to go to Syria and uh, fight on the side of Al-Qaeda uh, and kill the Christians. So when you, when you have the, the military, which happened during the Vietnam War too, the military starting to mutiny, starting to rebel against its orders, very, very good thing. So uh, I think, uh, you know, I'm, nothing is for sure, of course, and we are, we're dealing with some of the worst people in the history of the human race capable of anything. So this is a struggle, but it's always been a struggle, the struggle between power and market all throughout human history. So the struggle is intensifying, but now for the first time in a very long time, the good guys have got the advantage. We have to push that. We have to take the advantage. We have to make sure that we show the truth about the creeps who oppose us, what their plans are, how they want to hurt regular people to enrich themselves, uh, they love starting wars. They love killing people. Uh, they're a very nasty bunch. Um, but uh, good isn't the great majority. And, uh, we, you know, we have to do our job. Nothing is automatic. We can't just sit back and expect it to happen. But if we all educate ourselves, if we all try to educate others, 
if we all try to spread the ideas of freedom, I think we'll win. Speaking of their their in-game strategy that they've uh, um, all basically written about, they have decided to make the singularity in, in, in computers and robotics and manufacturing and, and industry an anti-human program where we're not needed. And so for the first time, uh, oligarchs can, 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 can use machines to get rid of the labor that they've never really wanted. And so they're almost buying into a Karl Marx type idea but instead of people having to work one day a week and living like kings, they've decided to bring in Agenda 21 to have government siphon off so much resources to make us poor, to make us peasants. They all write books about this. It's, it's it, how they admit their crimes. And then now the socialist over in France, uh, he's come out, the president, and said, robots replacing French workers will get France going again and let the socialist class, who's exempt from taxes, as they've been caught, have 100-plus percent taxes on the nouveau riche and the uh, uh, middle class. And so as all that happens, they're going to go to automation, automated factories, automated drones. Same thing MIT and the Pentagon say. Uh, is that soon it won't matter if the troops won't fire the cruise missiles. Uh, it'll be up to one technocrat, as they call themselves, to launch it. So I think it's important that the instinct of human survival takes control of the technocracy now to empower the free market, empower the individual in the market of ideas uh, through free will, rather than let these monsters get the technocracy, because they admit what you've said, that history's against them, but they believe that the holy grail of the sentient robot is going to save them. Uh, they're quite delusional. I believe, as the web was meant to control us, we're now using it to destroy them. I believe they will fall into their own pit, Lou Rockwell. Well, I think it's true, I, although I wouldn't mind replacing Francois Hollande with a robot. <laughs> and that would be uh, that would be a step forward. But, you know, these are, these, as you say, they're socialists, they're fascists. They don't actually understand anything about pro human productivity. They're anti-human productivity. And uh, they may have pipe dreams about this kind of thing. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's always important to remember nothing is beyond them. I mean, you know, they would happily... Uh, uh, commit horrendous crimes against humanity if they thought it would do them good, and they certainly have in the past. So that's uh, th that's the way they are. I don't think they can get away with this. I don't think from an economic standpoint or a technological standpoint they can do it. But it, again, it requires us fighting them. Uh, I don't mean I don't mean violently fighting them, but uh, fighting them with ideas, telling people the truth about them. They can't stand the truth. I mean, they're like uh, the witch and the Wizard of Oz. The truth is sprinkling water on them, and they all, they all go up. They can all go up and smoke. I'm melting. I'm melting. Great analogy. Let me ask you this, Lee Rockwell, in closing. And we're so thankful for your time. I know you've been a very, very busy guy, and uh, we're honored to have you here with us. LeeRockwell.com. I now look at the body language of Obama, the Republican senators as well, uh, McCain, Graham, Mendez, the Democrat, and I've, and I've studied history. I'm obsessed with it. I've seen a lot of film reels and things. I've never seen a more mentally ill looking bunch. And I think that's what concerns me most is they look like Hitler's high command in the film reels I've seen in the last six months of the war. Some of the last film reels, they look very freaked out and haunted. And I think the special interests, like Nixon said, there's so many special interests that aren't even connected. They just know they get more money and power if they do A, even though B leads to nuclear war. Mm -hmm. but, but, but it's scary, but also makes me feel really good to see that their morale is super low. But do you agree that they look completely whacked out of their mind? Oh, I, th I think they are. You know, doing evil as a regular, as your daily bread is not good for the human spirit. I mean, obviously that's correct. We know that from religion and, and from history. Uh, it's just, it's, it's not good for people. It's not good for people to kill other people. So these guys have all been killing people all their lives. Uh, both in the military and uh, probably otherwise as well. So yeah, they're sick, and they also uh, would like to be getting hosannas rather than uh, getting the raspberry at their town hall meetings. They can't stand it. They feel themselves to be the greatest people in the history of the world, and we all better obey them. And when that doesn't happen, they do begin indeed to crumble, just like, as you say, Hitler in the bunker. So um, let's hope we see more of that. Well, what... Putin, who again, I don't romanticize, you're absolutely right, but our, our leaders are so evil, he looks good. And when comparison, uh, it's like jumping into a latrine that's only half full rather than overflowing. Uh, but you know, he did the right thing saying, you people running this are not invincible. You're not exceptional, except for being exceptionally evil. Stop thinking you're God. 
He is saying the emperor's butt naked. He is saying you're a fraud. He's saying you're not invincible. That's exactly what they need to be hearing before they blow the planet up. And he's actually speaking for the people of the world. I mean, just like the government needs consent here at home, at least tacit consent from the American people to do their evil, so they need consent from the world in order to have their empire. But the world is withdrawing, just as Americans are withdrawing their consent, the world is withdrawing its consent, whether it's Brazil or Russia or India or China uh, and all sorts of small countries too, of course, are not wanting to be ruled by the U.S. They don't want to be invaded. They don't want to be bombed. Final question, how bombed. long How long is the empire have in your gut, Lou Rockwell? Well, it, I think it all depends at bottom on the, the dollar. Um, if I had to take a guess, I would say it's got between five and 10 years left. Okay, let's stay there. Let's, let's do a final segment with you, and then I promise, Julio, Christian, good news, President Bush owned all the callers. We're going to get to you. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy bodies products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. You know about RVs, you've heard about bunkers, but surviving is not recreation. And man wasn't made to live underground. Introducing Survivalist Camps, the ultimate fully functional off-the-grid survival bug-out house that's mobile, well-equipped, and custom-built to outlast any other RV or trailer. Go to survivalistcamps.com to learn more. That's survivalistcamps.com, providing your basic needs to survive. Survivalistcamps.com. Times are changing, and violent crimes against law-abiding citizens are out of control. Protect yourself with legal, affordable, 100% made-in-the-USA ballistic body armor. Available at AR500.com. Rated for calibers up to 308 Winchester. Packages including armor start at only $210. It's the right of every responsible American citizen to own body armor. Get some at 602-501-9607 or AR500.com. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products. And get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. The Genesis Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show Because there's a war on for your mind In Colorado, multiple Democratic lawmakers were removed from the state house after passing gun confiscation laws and now gun confiscation uh, Type individuals are facing recall in Virginia and other states. That's the answer. Get on the offense. Big things have small beginnings. Briefly, before we finish up with Lou Rockwell, start the next hour and go to your calls. I am wearing a shirt, if you're watching us on TV. It just came in last night. I designed it, and it is the wheel of death, uh, the uh, wheel of failure as the O, and it says Obamacare. 
Infowars.com. On the back, it says, death panels are cool. And so uh, I think it's a very important video. And in the word cool, the two O's are the Obama symbol, the rising sun, the sun of enslavement, I guess you could say it. So InfoWarsStore.com, we have the great pro-pure water filters to purify your water, key to health, uh, with the 10% off of promo code WATER, the great uh, non-hybrid, non-GMO uh, seed center with all the best products right there, the books, the videos. When you, as a constitutionalist, as a libertarian, decide with free will to vote with your dollars to support us, we can continue to build this operation and look at how we're having a huge effect. So I salute you all. InfoWarsStore.com or 888 Two five three three one three nine, and the mailing address and all the details are also on the site or linked through at prisonplanet.com or infowars.com. Lou Rockwell, uh, finishing up. I want to ask you about. I mean, I, I agree. Five, ten years. Empires can go on a long time. They've got nuclear weapons, uh, but at the same time, if there's a complete loss of confidence, you could have them fall like Ceausescu. But then you're going to have all the other collectivists and the hundreds of millions that are domesticated flooding back in, not knowing what to do. So as Ron Paul has said, it's going to be a process. What is your advice on the times we're going into right now and uh, how we can have a peaceful end to the kleptocratic empire? Well, I think we have to, first of all, set an example. Uh, weapons, killing, uh, poison gas, atomic weapons, uh, depleted uranium, all the rest, you know, starvation sanctions, all the rest of that stuff. That's the, those are the tools of the bad guys. Those are not, not our tools. We're not violent. We believe in peace. We believe in peace in, in personal senses as well as international. Ron Paul always says the golden rule foreign policy and the golden rule uh, in, inter, in our interpersonal relations. So I think that's the most important thing. Second most important thing is to learn about some economics and history and learn what the heck is, is going on. I think it's a great idea to have some gold. I think it's a great idea to have some food. I think it's a great idea to just be prepared for anything. Um, but you ha the most important thing is be a beacon for your fellow men. Um, shine forth with the ideas of freedom and, and, and liberty and all the things that have been great about America now being crushed. Those ideas still exist even if they're somewhat underground. We can fly that flag. We can uh, talk about those ideas. We can read those books. We can educate our children, take them out of the public schools, homeschool them. Uh, many, many things that we can do as individuals, uh, get out of debt to the extent you can. We have to make a total break with the kleptocratic, crony capitalist, anti-free market system. Well, they're the enemy. And so they only want to crush us. They want to be a ball and chain around our leg. We don't want that. Uh, so we should go in the opposite direction from those people. And uh, I think there are going to be some very exciting times ahead that people will be telling, about, telling their grandchildren and their great-grandchildren about what's going to be happening now. And it's going to be very exciting. I don't say that it's easy. It's going to be maybe horrible, but I believe we will win. By the way, speaking of that, uh, the developments will lead probably to a recall of John McCain. It's begun. Breitbart reporting. Official Arizona GOP body passes formal rebuke of John McCain. Says he's abandoned the GOP principles. So it looks like the GOP might be trying to find their original principles right there, Lou. Well, I'd love to see McCain gone. I don't know what the GOP principles are. Uh, it seems to me ever since Lincoln, they've been pretty bad, but McCain ought to be, be definitely sent home. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.